Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Happy hump day. A drear, drit. <laughs> I will, everybody, is peace, bliss, and feeling wonderful. We are halfway through the week, so that is always a beautiful thing, uh, especially if you punch into a clock like I do, <laughs> if you got a jobby job. But um, I just wanted to go ahead, tap into the energy, see what's coming in, going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios. Uh, for anyone that may be new, welcome. My name is Q. I, too, am a Scorpio. I am an empath. I channel messages intuitively, and I am also clear audience, so you will hear music playing in the background. Right now, we have Iman Omari, and the name of the song is called Energy. So absolutely, Scorpios, we already know you're highly, highly intuitive, very sensitive when it comes to energy. You not only feel energy, but you could speak energy. So I feel that your energy right now could be really high vibes. Um, we do know that we're coming into the eclipse season and this is the year of, um, you know, the, the eclipses. I believe they're happening in Scorpio um, one of them, I believe, is happening in the sign of Scorpio. Uh, for anyone that was born in the year of the tiger, such as myself, that also is Scorpionic energy. So there's major changes and shifts taking place. You may feel, um, you know, like your energy either increasing um, or for some of you, unfortunately, it may be decreasing. So maybe you need to just take a step away from everyone, everything, unplug, disconnect and reboot, you know, recharge your cal your your batteries, uh, rejuvenate your spirit, um, and just get yourself back into equilibrium. But for the most part, I feel Scorpios are in a very high energy, high vibration, really hitting the ground running, going towards your dreams. I also feel like this song is telling you to pay attention to your energy. Like if your energy shifts around certain people, take note of that. Um, because that is your higher self, you know, giving you that red flag, letting you know ahead of time, um, you know, what to, to look out for. Um, and we already know that, you know, that gut instinct is what you should always pay attention to. There's so many stories of people who didn't go with their first instinct. And they always say after the fact, I should have went with my first instinct, you know, because it, whatever took place, it was something that could have been avoided had they been, you know, more, um, more discerning in those moments so yes energy pay attention to the energy i feel the people that come around you now uh, are gonna have the right energy for you i feel like it's because they're gonna come in it's like you're attracting what you are it's like like attracts like so you're gonna be attracting the right type of people the right vibes uh to you um and that's just gonna be really um really positive for you um in the outcome because i do feel like you know the universe is sending you in the people that are meant to be in your life so it's like you're meeting your soul tribe your soul family um you could potentially be meeting um you know your twin flame coming into union with like a a, a you know a kindred spirit a cosmic companion of sorts so we're going to go ahead tap and tune in before we do i would like to do some house cleaning uh, I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. I shape. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibration of my cards. And so it is, so mo it be, ashe, ashe, ashe. So right now we have Peter Tosh, and this is called Johnny Be Good. So I definitely am feeling like good vibrations. I'm hearing such a good vibration. I'm hearing that in my mind's eye. As soon as I heard good <laughs> Johnny be good. So I do feel like somebody that's coming in is going to have good vibes. It's just going to be the energy is going to be right. It's like you're just going to have that synergy, that chemistry with someone. And it's really just going to be um, 
something that puts a smile on your face. I feel like you could be, you know, really just kind of, you know, putting yourself back out there. You know what I'm saying? Whereas in the past, you may have been more guarded. Um, you could have been in a protective bubble, you know, protecting yourself, um, you know, in that safe space, that safe haven in hermit mode, really just reflecting, doing a lot of internal work, soul searching. And now you're just kind of like getting back out there, you're dipping the toe back into that, you know, that pond, um, back into the waters, you know, <laughs> of Lake Minnetonka, like, you know what I'm saying? like Prince said in Purple Rain. It's like you're, you know, some of y'all could be setting up dating apps. Some of you all could just be putting yourselves back out there where you're open to love. You're being more receptive. Um, if somebody gives you the eye, you know, at the supermarket or approaches you, you're not just like shunning them and, 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 you know, giving them the stank face and the stank eye. It's like now you're more open and more receptive. So you may exchange numbers. You may exchange nice conversation. Um, if you are setting up dating apps, I feel like you're just going to go with what feels right. You know, the right energy, the right chemistry. You're not there looking for, you know, a one night stand or looking for somebody that's fine. I feel like you're very particular about what you're looking for this time around and you're intentional with what you're looking for as well. So it's like for many of you all, it's like um, you already know what you're looking for when you set up that dating app and you already know what you're looking to hear um, from the right person. So it's like. Uh, good vibes is going to to mean, you know, some cool points on the board for you all. So let's go ahead. We're going to pick up some messages. We're going to pull out the um, numerology deck. And so look what we have. I'm just going to show you. We have love partnership here right on the bottom of the deck, 26. So this could potentially be like um, someone that could be like a wish fulfillment. This is someone that absolutely that could be coming in. Um, like I said, I heard that good vibration song and now here it is, you know, I feel uh, strongly that you're going to have really good vibes, really good chemistry, synergy with someone. And I'm also hearing like good conversation, you know, someone's going to pique your interest, someone's going to have, you know, the right, um, you know, just, um, you know, emotional intelligence, you know, they're going to be very confident and, and, and very, uh, very persistent um, you know, in showing you, you know, their interest. So it says love partnership. So you could potentially be coming into some sort of uh, union with someone. You could find yourselves, if you are setting up dating apps, you could find yourselves like getting snatched up really quick off the market. Um, and we have Johnny Mathis and Denise Williams. It says too much, too little, too late. So maybe you all have been through, um, you know, you've been through a lot of, of, of painful um and traumatic experiences. I feel like there was so much that happened in the past. It was too much for you. Um, and I feel like there was um, very little reciprocity. And I feel by the time, you know, you made the decision to move on, uh, maybe someone started to show interest or someone came around, um, but it was a little too late. You know, they didn't give you enough. And so you walked away from that connection. Um, lack of reciprocity, uh, the lack of affection, the lack of attentiveness just was not working for you. So someone was not meeting your standards in regards to what you needed in terms of your love language. And so now, you know, you're coming into someone that's going to have all the right energy. You know, the, the, the vibrations are going to be right for you and they're going to speak um, your love language here. So let's go ahead on the split. We have health and then we have love partnership. So I do feel like, you know, some of y'all could be up in your head because the 71 health card is an orange card. And then there's purple on the symbol in, um, on this card and purple deals with the crown chakra. So I am feeling like there's a lot of anxiety and stress and worry, or maybe this is something that you may have felt. Um, but maybe this is a sense of, you know, kind of just kind of worrying. When is your time? When is your time to find love? Are you going to find love? Maybe some of you fear being alone. Maybe some of you don't like being alone because you've always been in relationships. And so maybe that's something that weighs heavily on your mind is just thinking about, you know, when your time is going to be um you definitely don't want because the name of this song like i said is too much too little too late so you don't want to um you don't want to be alone i feel like some of y'all don't want to be alone like you want to have that compassion 
um, you know, that companion, excuse me. And you want someone that's going to be compassionate, someone that's going to focus on the love and light, someone that's going to really work with you and be your support system, your, pro, you know, your protector. You want somebody to really have your back, middle and front, someone that you can call, you know, your best friend. So it's like, you know, maybe some of you all are really pondering on that, thinking about that. But I do feel like, you know, maybe if that's the reason why you're setting up that dating apps or the reason why you may be putting yourself out there. It's like you don't have to worry about that because you do have a love partnership. And I feel like you're going to meet you're going to make connections um, really easily um, just by being your authentic self. Like you're, people are going to find that refreshing because the world is so it's so um, overpopulated with such um it's, it's just so many replicas and duplicates out there. It's like everybody wants to be baby Kardashians or Barbies or it's like nobody wants to be their authentic selves. And I just feel like when you step on the dating scene, it's like people are going to be really refreshed because you're like rare. Um, right now we have Nas and this is called Some of Us Have Angels and Some of Us Have Demons. That's what he says in the song. And so where you're in a space of, you know, this light vibration, it's going to attract the right people to you. And I do feel that there's a lot of darkness out there as well, which is why your energy is going to be very refreshing. So let's go ahead. I got nature on the bottom of the deck in my hand. I'm about to cut the deck. So I do feel like whatever you, whatever connections you make, it's going to just come off very naturally and very organically. It's not going to be forced. I feel like you're just going to have, as I said earlier, like a nice synergy with someone. There's going to be good banter back and forth where the two of you are going to really hit it off. Conversations are going to flow. It's just going to be really like easy. It's just going to be like easy like Sunday morning. So we have time out here on the bottom of the deck. So this is the overall energy. So as I said, you've been really reserved, really, you know, doing some introspective work, really going within. And I do feel like, you know, there's been a lot of soul searching, a lot of healing that has been done. And this healing that you've been doing has brought you back into equilibrium. Um, I feel you're very balanced and I feel the time for you to be, you know, disconnected and detached from everything and everyone else. The time is up now. Time out. That time out is 37 um, is the number of this card. I feel like you've received a lot of clarity um, and you have this awareness. There's an awakening now that's uh, happening um, and, and now you're aware of what it is you want. Now you're aware of what it is you're looking for, searching for. Um, and I do feel because you've done a lot of work on yourself um, that you're happier with yourself now. Um, you're happy in, in, in content, um, with yourself and content with yourself to the point where now you can make the decision to partner up with someone else where you're not feeling like that person is validating you in any way, shape, form or fashion or you're not feeling codependent on a relationship, your desire to be with someone is just to share your life, but you're not necessarily looking for them to validate you uh, because you now validate yourself. So that was some of the enlightening, um, the enlightenment that you may have had, uh, because with some of us have angels, I feel like you listen to your higher self um, when you had to part ways uh, from toxic relationships, when you had to sever those karmic cords. Um, it was really necessary for you because I do feel like uh, with too much, there was too much going on. Uh, things were happening too fast, but there was also very little being given to you. So there was a lack of reciprocity, as I said, a lack of appreciation. Um, you weren't being tended to in the way that you deserved. Uh, you weren't being valued or treated the way that you deserved. And so I feel like that's why um, there was too little being given to you. Um, and I feel by the time someone may have came around or started to make some, you know, little effort, it was a little too late for you because now at that point you was really more guarded and more in a defensive mode, a very protective bubble uh, so that you could heal and, and, and nurture yourself back down. But now that you've taken that necessary time out, it's like now you know to trust your intuition, to pay attention to those red flags. Um, and to always trust what someone is showing you, to not give people the benefit of the doubt or always make excuses for someone. I feel like now this this enlightenment is going to um, help you naturally attract uh, what it is that you are looking for in your partner. So we have leadership here on the bottom of the deck. And so you've become a leader. 
Um, it's really a space of you um, owning your power now, um, knowing your worth, knowing your value, being very willful, very intentional, um, and also determined. This is an energy of determination um, and knowing that ultimately uh, you have to prioritize your needs and wants and desires. I feel like this is also um, a strong um, symbolism of, of self-love and worth, uh, knowing what you deserve, you know, and going after it, you know, fearlessly, uh, relentlessly. Um, we have seven streeter, it won't stop. So you being a leader, you know, is, is your, um, per, you know, your, your, uh, consistent, you are very consistent and persistent in, in achieving some sort of goal. Um, this leadership breaks down to 81, so that's nine. So that was the time you took out, you know, nine is the hermit. Um, and this is something you realized you were. Uh, once you stepped away from someone that could have dimmed your light or overshadowed you in some way. And I feel like the more you, you know, kind of soul searched and searched within and, and looked back in awareness to some of the relationships that you had to, to part ways with, um, you realize that those were things uh, or those were people who were kind of like dimming your light, overshadowing you, but really knowing who you were uh, and not really appreciating um, what you've done for them. And so now you had to take on this ownership, this power. You had to take your, your power back. Um, being a leader is really a, a, a statement. Um, it's a statement of saying that um, you absolutely and undubitably, you know, deserve whatever it is uh, you set your mind to, um, to achieve, you're going to achieve it, you know, so this is really like eyes on the prize focus. This is someone that stands on that soapbox and they communicate what it is that they desire, what it is that they want, and they go after it and they mean what they say and they say what they mean. And there's a sense of fearlessness, a sense of strength that comes along with this position of, of, um, leadership. I feel like you became that leader. You, you were more confident and more assertive. Um, and you were stopping at nothing. So that's a beautiful energy. So let's see. So who is, uh, our beloved Scorpios attracting? So you're attracting someone that's being very patient, someone who's also doing their own work, someone who's also um, having to learn balance, uh, trying to find equilibrium as well. Uh, this is someone that will make uh, the effort and come towards you. They're going to be intentional when they do come towards you. And once they come towards you, they're not going to stop. They're going to be very um, persistent, as I said earlier, because with patience, this is just really letting me know that uh, good things take time to create. So, you know, someone is really working on themselves and perhaps they are focused on self-care, uh, growing and, and nurturing themselves in the way that you have had to do the same. Um, but they will come towards you uh, very intentionally. Um, I feel they're wrapping up a cycle because we do see uh, completion on the bottom of the deck and that's nine. So I do feel like that's why uh, there's patience required when it comes to someone that's coming towards you is because, you know, this person could be completing their own uh, cycle. Um, and I feel like maybe you know this intuitively uh, because you are uh, very, you know, clairvoyant, very psychic. Um, and highly intuitive. So you're very sensitive when it comes to energy. Um, and you can read energy, pick up energy. Um, and so this is, you know, letting you know that something that you are uh, waiting for, um, it's coming, you know, but patience is required because there's, um, there's still some pruning that's being done. There's still some, some work that's being done on that particular person. So how will this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? Um, divine spirit and we have happy ending here 93 so that's beautiful so they see you uh, as the divine feminine divine masculine they see you as someone who is really really attractive loving nurturing caring kind powerful abundant you know your worth and value and they see you as someone very valuable um, they could see you as that mother um, figure or that father figure someone that they can plant seeds and roots with um, when they see you, they could see, you know, themselves in, you know, this space where, 
uh, the two of you are committed to one another. Um, we have uh, Travers, and this is called Never Had um, a Love Like This Before. Uh, I said Travers. It says Tavares, and it says Never Had a Love Like This. So this person is going to feel a lot of love. This could potentially be someone that you know from your past, because I'm getting like, even though this is 9-3, which breaks down to 12, um, which breaks down to three. Um, I do feel like this could be someone returning from your past potentially. And we got the same card love partnership on the bottom of the deck now. So you will have someone that's going to really, really, um, adore you. Um, they're going to appreciate you. They're going to show you affection. They're going to be emotional. Um, and so this person never had a love like this before. And I do feel like this person is going to um, be very attentive, uh, very emotionally intelligent. There's this sense of you like really bringing love and light. Um, this person also uh, sees that you are very wise, you know, and they're attracted to your wisdom, your wise dome. Uh, this person really likes communicating with you. Uh, they enjoy having conversations. The two of you could also be communicating um, telepathically, but I do feel like there's going to be a lot of conversations uh, because I have three, two, and then this 37 is one. So there's like, you know, that reduces to six. So that's your first eye. Um, that also could be like the lovers. Um, that also could be like the six of cups. Um, so I am sensing like there's a lot of uh, intuitive and telepathic communication, maybe visiting one another in your dreams. Um, and this is someone that does see you as wish fulfillment. This is also someone that you could have manifested because, you know, the divine feminine, which is this three card here, the happy ending card, which is, uh, you know, like I said, that's 93, but that breaks down to 12, 12 breaks down to three. Um, this person absolutely is drawn to you. Um, this is someone that does, you know, see you in, um, in a completely different light than that of anyone else they may have dealt with. So this is someone that could see you um, shining. I don't know whatever it is you all are doing. If you have an online platform or profile, it's like they do watch you from a distance, from afar. Um, and for whatever reason, it's like you're just this radiant light, the speaking of light. Um, and they just feel very happy um, whenever they see you. I feel like this person gets butterflies. Um, and this is something that they really are starting to uh, become aware of, is that they've never had a love like this before. They never felt those feelings before. They never got that tingling uh, sensation inside. They never had butterflies, um, you know. So there's this strong adoration um, and deep attraction and a very magnetic pull to you. And with this eight, I do feel like this person is just really attracted to the fact that, that you are, you know, very vulnerable and you own it, you know, you, you're, you're unapologetic for who you are. And that is very attractive to them because maybe that's something that they are learning from you to be vulnerable, you know, and to, to own who you are, to own, you know, not just your power, but even those things that may be your weaknesses. Um, and you're just you unapologetically and you're rare. Um, so what, what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? So what's hidden in the energy is we have healing. So someone is healing and that's why patience is required. And then we have moderation that also flew out. So there is a change that's coming in. I feel like, you know, this change is absolutely a positive change because when you heal yourself, and I do see that this is the number 66. So whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like that's speaking to you, mirroring someone that's your twin. Uh, someone that's your kindred spirit, your kindred um, partner. Um, and so this healing was something both of you had to um, go through, you know, in order to come to one another, um, changed individuals. Green is the color of the heart chakra. So this number 14 moderation is saying that there were a lot of things that needed to be changed within the self, you know, a lot of alterations that needed to be changes, belief systems, ideologies, bad habits, all of those things needed to be purged and released and, and um, relinquished so that you could come into a new union with a completely different, um, you know, uh, perspective, but also energy. Uh, remember the energy song that was playing earlier. So it's like the vibrations are higher now because of the healing that has taken place. 
Um, right now we have Toby Nwigi, and this is called I Choose You. So this person could have um, in the past chosen another person, another partner, because I do get a sense of this being someone that you are familiar with, someone you know. But this time around, they're going to come back and they're choosing you. They're making some moderations. They're, they're changing something because through this healing process, they've had some sort of epiphany. 66 reduces to 12, 12 breaks down to three. So they're healing from heartbreak. I feel like because this is double sixes, that is the communication that's going on between you and this person. Uh, intuitive and, and, dis, and, and psychic communication, telepathic communication, messages being transmitted um, via your dreams um this is someone wanting you to know that they're choosing you someone wanting you to know that um perhaps they made a mistake and they want to change that with this number 14 moderation um and they want you to know uh, which is why they communicate with you uh intuitively uh that they choose you even though they may have chosen someone else in their heart in their heart chakra they choose you they desire you because on the moderation card we have um, it's red on the inside of the symbol and red deals with the root chakra. So maybe there were some things that they had to get to the root cause of some healing. You know, maybe they were healing their inner child, healing from past wounds and traumas and needing to find that sense of security and stability within themselves because they could have been in codependent relationships. And now that they've done that, they're now feeling more emotionally balanced. There's the sense of self-love that they've been able to obtain um, for themselves. And now loving themselves has really shown them the type of love that they deserve. And more importantly, the type of love they desire. So the healing process has really helped um, someone learn to love themselves. Uh, and now that they love themselves, they know their worth. They know their value. Uh, we have 19 pride on the bottom of the deck. So their pride allowed them, um, didn't allow them to choose you. Um, their ego didn't allow them to choose you, uh, which is why I feel like someone had to take a time out because there was a lot of, of ego, a lot of pride, um, a lot of stubbornness, a lot of um, going against the grain um, and also self-deception, you know, because I did see the health card in the beginning of the deck. Uh, when we cut the deck, we had health uh, 71 and then we had the um, the love partnership 26. And so the health I was saying was like mental anguish, uh, someone really up in their head. Um, with regrets, remorse, uh, pining over a situation. And it could be their decisions, uh, their choices, not making the right choice, not making the right decision, choosing someone over another that, you know, ultimately could have led to heartbreak, knowing the other person was wish fulfillment, knowing that other person was the one that they may have prayed for. Um, but now that this 19, which is 10, uh, this is completion. Uh, completion means there's the death of something, the ending of something. Um, so something has come full circle. This person perhaps is having an ego death. So they're no longer proud and egotistical and running away from what they truly want to run towards. This is someone now that's going to go after what they desire. We have DMX, Rise and Plower King. This is called Hood Blues. Um, and so someone is really feeling sad and solemn. Um, without you in their life, this is something that they realized once they made that decision and once they settled into the situation that they chose, they realized they, were, they made a mistake. There was a mistake that was made. Now we have 77 spirituality. So just as I said, you and this person are very, very much in tune psychically. Uh, and there's a lot of communication telepathically and intuitively with spirituality. I feel the two of you are very much spiritual partners. 77 again, that is the crown chakra. So both of you are receiving divine downloads, interventions, maybe having synchronicities, letting you know that this union is about to take place. The energy and the synergy, everything is kind of changing and altering. And I feel the divine wants you to pivot as well. So the outcome, we have perseverance, which is the number four. 
So someone has persevered through the heartbreak, the pain, because they've learned to heal themselves. They've looked back in awareness. They've gained a different perspective. They have a different vantage point. They see things from a broader perspective, from a more evolved perspective, if you will. And what they realize is self-love makes you more attractive. The more you loved yourself, the more you made those decisions to walk away from toxicity is the more you activated and really triggered someone else. This amplified someone's love for you as well. This person has been healing and because they've healed themselves, they now love themselves. And now that they love themselves, they know they deserve and desire you. This 19 pride flew back out. So this person now is having an ego death because now they want to come towards you. There's red on the inside of the symbol um, that's on this purple card pride. And so now they are aware of how they've sabotaged uh, this connection. And what they want to do is come back and change the situation because we have the number four and the 19 um, came out as well for the outcome. And so that 19 reduces to 10, which is one. And then you have the four, so that's five. So now they want to change the situation because they realize they do love you. This is a spiritual connection, partnership, a kindred spirit, a twin flame, a soulmate, the yang to your yin, yin to your yang, the divine feminine and masculine that are going to come into union with the seven, seven. This is the energy that you may be picking up on because as we said earlier, your person's energy, how they are. Um, you know, the energy your person is in is patience. So the divine is telling you good things take time to create. So be patient with this process because someone will be coming in, but they're going to come in once they've completed this healing um, that they are um, going through at this time. So next, we're going to pull some messages from Tarot. And this is the uh, secret Tarot. So on the bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Cups. So there is emotional fulfillment that's coming towards you. And I feel this person really feels this love. This person feels like you are someone that fulfills them in every way. Uh, emotionally, mentally, you stimulate them. You bring happiness into their life. When you're a part of their life, they just feel happier. They have this adoration, this attraction, and they feel drawn to you. They feel this calling, this magnetic pull on the split we have the death card. So something did end in this relationship and it, end in, it ended in a painful way. But I feel this death of this relationship has really transformed uh, both parties, you know, and there's this rebirth, you know, this, this, um, you've risen like the phoenix from the ashes. And that's why this person now sees you in your true light, your true form as the divine feminine, because remember how they see you is nine, three happy ending. So you are that beacon of light, that radiant soul. You are someone that brings joy and laughter and lightheartedness into their lives. And so this person may have been self-deceptive. We got the seven of swords. So they was trying to run from their shadow. They were trying to run from this connection. Um, by self-deception. Like I said, this is someone who self-sabotage, self-sabotages. Um, even though they feel this 10 of cups, all of these emotions, these tingling feelings, they know that you will lead them to this happy house, happy spouse. They know they can have that happily ever after with you. They know they can have the white picket fence, the dog, dog the cat. They can have the abundance. They can have the joy, the laughter. They know they can have that domestic harmony, that love partnership, that spiritual partnership, but they were running from it. And it could have been from fear. As I said, they had to heal from something that could have been rooted in their childhood. You know, maybe something within the ways that they were raised and reared. It may have um, caused them to be very guarded, very defensive because they could have had their heart broken. Um, not just in love, but maybe by a mother, a father, through abandonment issues. Um, so they had to heal from that first and foremost. So they had to do some healing. That's why healing is what's in the hidden energy, is someone is still healing. That's why patience is required for your person, because they're still licking those wounds. This person is realizing that they were self-sabotaging all this time. Um, we have Jodeci, what about us? So now someone is going to return and... What they're going to ask you is, what about us? Because now they realize that this connection is so deep, so profound, that they cannot run from it and hide from it any longer. When you have the Ten of Cups, that is the epitome of happy house, happy spouse. That is the epitome of being 
emotionally fulfilled and someone feels that you fill all of their cups, emotional fulfillment. Um, so now we have the high priestess. What did I say about you being very sensitive, being, uh, you know, very powerful in regards to being able to pick up on the energy and the, 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 the vibration. Your person is also in this two energy of patience. Um, and so you know that this person is working on themselves. So you're being very patient and waiting for this person because the, the healing they're going through or the healing they're doing is the healing you've already done. So you know what it looks like uh, with what about us? As I said, somebody is going to um, really start pondering on the connection because the connection was so real for them. Um, now that they've taken the time out to heal, as I said, they begin to love themselves. They begin to focus on their self-care. Um, and this is going to really bring into uh, alignment um, just how profound the connection is. So the time out was necessary because it allowed for someone to do a lot of internal work. And what they're seeing is like, dang, what about us? What about this, this strong connection I had with Scorpio? That time out was necessary because it brought awareness to this connection. So with the six of swords, someone is going to work their way back to you because I have the number two patience and then the six of swords. This is saying that you moved away. This is also saying that you created like a safe space away from someone so that you could focus on yourself so that you could heal yourself and nurture yourself. Someone has been thinking about you for a long time. The, the fact that you've moved away, someone is like, dang, what about us? Like, you know, so they just, they could just pack up and leave. They don't really care. And I feel like you had to focus on yourself in that instance, which is why you moved away. Like I said, you detached and you went into hermit mode. You really started to lick your wounds, soul search, introspect, take those internal self audits. And what you've discovered was your worth and value. What you discovered was you deserve more. By you doing that, you triggered something within this person. And so now they're following suit. It's like they're shadowing you in many ways. Now they're taking the time out to look within to soul search. This person is equally intuitive and very um, powerful psychically as well. Because remember, you had that 77 uh, spirituality card fly out. So this person is also mirroring you with that high priestess energy. And you two are communicating. So with what about us? You two are really kind of like holding a space for one another in your hearts, like, you know, just in case. So with the six of swords, I see that this person is going to uh, travel. There's probably distance. Um, someone could really be trying to figure out how to um, how to see you, how to set up some sort of um, arrangements to to meet up, to link up, to connect with you. So why is patience here for the person Scorpio is attractive? Divine spirit of love and light. Why is patience here? May I have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And so we have the six of pentacles. So now this person is going to come towards you. They could be working on their finances, but I do feel like this person does, you know, they're, they're, they're looking at things, like I said, from a different perspective. In the past, they could have been breadcrumbing or you may have felt like they were not doing enough. There wasn't enough reciprocity. I feel this time around, they're going to be very generous. They're going to invest. They're really going to show you um, how much they care. And they're wanting to make you feel safe and secure in this connection. Um, with the King of Swords, uh, they feel that you could be very cold, um, very distant, very guarded, you know, very, you know, um, very defensive. Um, if you will, you know, but this, they do desire to communicate and speak with you. We have Dwele and Jay Dilla, um, and this is called Go Ladies. So this person definitely sees you as, you know, that divine feminine or, or divine masculine. Um, you know, this person could be kind of like needing to cut themselves free from, you know, other um, potential um a love interest because it's like go ladies so they could be like excusing themselves from other uh, parties because they realize that you bring them happiness that they feel you know that they could have that happy ending with you that happily ever after like their joy and happiness resides with you you're like home you're like food for their soul um, and so this person is really uh, pondering on you know how how to approach you how to come towards you 
Um, this is someone that really, really um, is seeing things very clearly. It's like they've had some sort of illumination, some sort of clarity per pertaining this connection. So why is happy ending here for the person Scorpio's attracted and how they feel about our beloved Scorpios? Why is happy ending here for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios? May I have a message of love and of light. Thank you, spirit. And so we have the four of swords. So like I said, they feel like you are very, you know, standoffish or very much not taking action uh, because you could be healing yourself. Um, this person also is aware that they could have hurt you, uh, maybe because they had other uh, potentials. There were other entanglements. Um, but this person is really desiring to communicate, really desiring to clear the air, to um, communicate uh, maybe be honest and transparent with you um, because they don't like that there's this, this, you know, this separation or this distance between the two of you. The death card is here on the bottom of the deck. And so they're really licking their wounds, you know, and I feel like they've made a lot of changes, um, namely getting rid of some of these extra ladies or some of these extra love interests, these extras, let's just call them extras. And so the changes they've made um, were to really show you that they are making an effort to prioritize you this time around. Um, they don't like being... Um, in opposition of you. This is someone that really wants to come in and apologize because I see the Knight of Cups underneath that and then I see the Two of Wands. So they are making a very conscious effort to come towards you uh, because, you know, they, they're saddened ever since you walked away. This person is really sad, but I do feel like they're planning and strategizing the right approach. They don't want to come at you half ass um, because they do see you as the divine feminine. So they know you know your worth. They know you are very uh, powerful. And, you know, you're in a space where you are protecting yourself. You're still healing. You're still growing. And so they don't want to get cut off, chopped off because you've already, this, end, this relationship was already ended, but they see the transformations and the changes that you've made. It's like you have um, really gone through some sort of rebirth and you have emerged a completely different person, which is why they feel that you're this empress because uh, this nine, three, like I said, reduces to 12, that's three. So they do feel like you're the divine feminine. You're that goddess. You're that God. You're that king. You're that, that, that emperor that empress, like I said, so you've reached a level of self mastery and you've learned. Um, so why is healing and moderation here for what's hidden in the energy? Thank you, spirit. So now we have the moon. So see that this person is doing a lot of introspective work. Um, they were dealing with their shadow side. You know, they're going through their dark note of the soul journey as well. And all of the secrets and lies, um, definitely led to heartbreak and loss and pain and anguish and remorse and, someone really wanting to right their wrongs, someone really wanting to, um, to heal the connection. You know, this is someone that could really truly be, um, you know, sending you those messages telepathically, as I said, because the moon is, you know, an energy of, of intuition. It's also very reflective. So I do feel like somebody is doing some real deep, um, reflection, um, on themselves, on the way that they, uh, may have mishandled this this relationship and what they're realizing is that they've caused these tower moments this sudden ending and we got the hanged man here um, on the bottom of the deck so this person is and was forced into um, this position this sacrificial position so that they could have a more grand um, you know perspective a more evolved perspective to see things from a completely different vantage point, namely yours, uh, seeing how they mishandled um, and sabotaged um, this connection as well. Also realizing that a lot of their, uh, a lot of, of, of this, this, um, a lot of their ideologies and belief systems um, are rooted in their childhood, you know, the way that they were raised is it's almost like it's rooted in pain. And so they have to change that. They have to make those alterations if they wish to ever have a healthy and happy relationship with someone. So this person is, is being forced to look at things 
um, and they're growing wiser in that process in the interim. So why is um, perseverance and pride here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? I love you, Donnie. And we have kindred, the family soul. And where would I be? So this person knows that they wouldn't be where they are had it not been for you teaching them. So there's a sense of teaching and learning. They've learned from you by you showing them tough love, by cutting them off. It's like it taught them something. That's why there's this ego death. So where would they be had they not bumped into you in their lifetime, you know, in this lifetime? They would still be out there, you know, breaking hearts, hurting people, but also still being, you know, almost um, dissatisfied as well. Like being, you know, looking for something that's like right there in their face, you know, staring them right there in the face. So we have the hermit and then we have the uh, five of wands. So that was ego. See that the hermit, they're reflecting now, the soul searching, reflecting, the perseverance. So they're persevering um, and, 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 and being resilient um, in regards to, you know, the ego, you know, and doing what ego tells them to do, pride tells them to do, which is, you know, to, to uh, be in opposition, to be uh, at, 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 at odds, conflict, you know, confusion, um, listening to people, telling them what they need to do, being in these competitive circumstances. Um, that was all ego. It was all for show. It was all for bragging rights. Um, but deep down, you know, this person knows uh, that they do have love. This perseverance card is all green. So they do know that they feel this feeling of love, but their ego and pride and their stubbornness um, caused them to fight it. And so with where would I be, they're realizing they wouldn't be reflecting on the situation have, had they, if there wasn't love. If there wasn't real love, genuine love, or a real interest, or a real connection, or real synergy and chemistry, then they wouldn't be so much in their head about the situation. So I do feel like this, this hermit energy, like I said, um, is you know someone really pondering, going within, um, taking that time away from all this noise you know the five of wands is really competitive you know energy it's the chatter of the outside world people up in your head um the star is on the bottom of the deck so someone is really wishing and praying and hoping on a star um and they also see you as wish fulfillment someone is praying for this connection again someone's praying that you return that you uh, come back into their life that this connection p can be rectified and you know at the end of the day we got the uh, hierophant here so this person could be seeking wise counsel or um, you know really doing things to to deepen their understanding that's what the the uh, hermit is the hermit is a wizard he knows the answers he's seeking are found within so this is like seeking wise counsel with one's higher self you know, asking spirit and guides and angels and ancestors to lead you to the truth, to give you signs, synchronicities. And that's what this person is doing. And that's why they're having this ego death. And that's why they're persevering through the painful loss of this connection. And they're focusing on healing because they know that they're very wounded. You know, they're healing those that inner child that was wounded. And so let's get some last messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So we got toxic behavior on the bottom of the deck. So this person is coming into the awareness that they were being very toxic. That's why you took the time out. And it's also because this person was hiding things from you, being very secretive. And it was because they were, you know, really juggling a lot of different people. They had other people in the picture. There was other um, love interests, options. Uh, and so they were distracted. They couldn't give it give you the the attentiveness and the attention that you required and desired which is why you felt like you were being breadcrumbed we have Nas war against love so there could have been people who were trying to come in between and sabotage this connection but this also could have been this person sabotaging the connection because of you know whatever they experienced like I said during their childhood years during their developmental years they could have learned love in a very toxic way, which is what led to them being toxic um, in relationships. So what we have is whatever isn't growing is dead, live now. 
So that's what you had to do. That's why you took that time out, that pause. That's what your higher self instructed you. That was the nudges you were receiving from your spirit guides and angels was to walk away, to disconnect, disengage, detach, unplug, um, because it wasn't serving your highest good. So if something isn't growing, that means it's dead. So for you, you wasn't going to keep breathing life into something that was dead. It was, it was, if anything, it was just, you know, sucking the life force out of you. It was an energy vampire. And so you were unfulfilled. So therefore you needed to move on so that you could live so that you wouldn't potentially be stuck and stagnant in something. So 44, someone could be 44 years old that you're dealing with. Um, 44 is also eight. Um, so your angels and guides are working with your person, giving them uh, divine intervention. They're seeing signs and synchronicities. And this is why they have patience here because they're being guided and led to healing thyself. Um, and through the process and during the interim of them healing themselves, they begin to learn to love themselves. They change their love language. And I feel like they realize, uh, you know, like I said, how they were sabotaging connections that they truly um, desired. Um, how they were breadcrumbing and penny pension and not doing enough. So now there's this this epiphany, this aha that you are in fact the star because the 44 is the eight. That's the eight. So they realize that you are the star, that you are everything they could have prayed for, hoped for, and even asked for in a partner, in a mate, in a counterpart. Um, so this person is really um, hoping, uh, wishing, praying that this connection could be rectified. We have strength, courage, and wisdom here uh, for how this person feels about you. This is clarifying the 93 happy ending along with the four of swords and the strength of courage and wisdom is how they see you. This is how they feel about you is that you're very strong, you're very courageous, and you're wise. Those are the very things that a divine feminine or divine masculine embodies is the strength, courage, and wisdom. When you reach that level of goddessness or God um, godness, you know, it's like you've, you, this is self mastery. Um, you've had to heal yourself. You've had to lick your wounds. You've had to, you know, rebuild after something was destroyed. You had to focus on, you know, what you required and, and, and had to walk away from something you really desired, but it wasn't serving you. So you had to walk away from it. That requires strength. Um, they see you as very courageous, you knowing your worth and value. Um, is really attractive now. They see you as very wise, as I said, someone very intellectual, someone very much, um, you know, very, very worldly, very experienced, uh, very in tune and aligned, balanced, um, very down to earth. This is how this person sees you as a very strong person, very courageous, uh, very wise, because it's like you, you suffered heartache and loss, but you've rejuvenated, you recuperated somehow by you doing the work, by you healing that self. With oneness, this this is on the bottom of the deck. We're about to clarify um, you know, the healing and the moderation and the moon, which are all what's hidden. And so there's this, you know, this oneness. They feel this sense of oneness, wholeness, balance with you. So let's see, why is um healing, moderation, and the moon here? And this is something they were hiding. You know, the moon is Cancerian energy. Um, so this is somebody who can be very reserved. You know, they, they, they feel deeply, but they never emote. And so a bunch of cards just flew out. So I'm going to put these back in there. All right. So I do see here they fear rejection. So someone is really fearing rejection. I do see yin yang. So someone do feel does feel like you're the yang to their yin, as I said. And with this, you know, dual numbers, six, six, double numbers, rather. Uh, this is absolutely someone that couldn't be. So we see I see you. So this person now sees you. That's what came out. So this person sees the real you. The I see you is like what they said in Avatar. You know, I see you. So this person sees the real you. They didn't see the real you in the beginning because their ego and pride wouldn't allow them to. Um, and also the pain and hurt they suffered from, you know, in their past, you know, it really jaded them. They were very jaded, but now they see you because they've been doing a lot of internal 
work. They've been really uh, doing some self-reflecting with the moon here. And so with the mirror, they see that you two mirror one another, that you two are kindred souls, kindred spirits. And so now they see you um, in your authenticity. And this is with the first eye on the bottom of the deck. Like I said, six, six is the first eye. That's, you know, the third eye to many call it the third eye. I call it the first eye, hence the name of the channel. So the first eye is here. So this is you two having a very strong spiritual connection. Remember, we had spirituality. So you two are very psychic, very in tune, very much uh, clairvoyance, clair uh, you know, um, very tuned in, tapped into one another's energy. And so there could be a lot of transmissions, downloads um, and divine interventions coming in for the both of you. So why is perseverance, um, pride, the hermit and the five of wands here? So it says the divine sends love and delight, ashe, and then we have a higher frequency. So this person is now vibing on a higher frequency because of the ego death. They're no longer conceited. They're no longer stuck in this, this mindset that they the ished and, and it's all about them. It's like they've, you know, they're coming back down to reality and they're coming out of la la land. They, your high frequency and vibration um, was really something that they were going off of. It's like you, we got Prince playing the most beautiful girl in the world. So not only do they see you as the most beautiful girl in the world, but like I said, the energy, the higher frequency, this is my card in my deck. So it's like they see you in this light, like you stand out from the rest, especially with the star in the bottom of, you know, the secret tarot. It's like they see you now, you know, just like the card says in the hidden energy. I see you now. They see you now. They see the significance of this connection and they can no longer de deny it with the divine send you love and light. This is because someone has had an ego death. They've come full circle. So now that they have this love and light. They have this love of self and they have this illumination, the light, the clarity. And this light is showing them that you're the most beautiful girl in the world, gal in the world, guy in the world. And that's because they see you as a star. They see you shining. They see you as someone that's very down to earth, grounded, balanced, aligned, co-creating with sort, source, setting your intentions, a master manifester, an alchemist, creating the potions and elixirs to life, utilizing the elements around you changing your circumstance, your reality, birthing new ideas, being that divine feminine and masculine, very abundant, very successful, very independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. You are doing all of this all on your own. That's why they see you as strong, courageous, very wise, because it's like whatever happened in the past, it didn't kill you, but it made you better. It improved you. It, you've transformed. You've had this rebirth. You've emerged someone very powerful, very wise. And this is something that is very attractive. So as I said, like attracts like. Now this higher frequency, your higher frequency and vibration and energy is now attracting them. They're now feeling pulled magnetically towards you. And this is why you are the most beautiful girl in the world in this person's eyes. So this is a beautiful reading. I'm going to end it there. I thank you all for tuning and tapping in. If you found that the message has resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, share, the subscribe button. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. But you are absolutely coming. Um, there's something very beautiful coming in for you all, Scorpios. So prepare yourself, brace yourselves, and, and be very excited because this is something that you've manifested by changing your reality. I feel like you co-created with source by setting your intentions, knowing your worth. And now this wish fulfillment is here. So a blessing is coming in and you're going to be shocked. It may be someone that you're familiar with, an old love, a past love, and you know, someone that you have a beautiful chemistry and connection with. Um, and I do feel it's going to lead to that happily ever after that happy house, happy spouse. I'm hearing white picket fence, baby dogs, children, you know, world travel, all of that. So beautiful energy, Beautiful, beautiful energy for this beautiful hump day. I wish you all have a beautiful day, beautiful rest of your day. Until next time, Ashe, peace.